Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again. And I'll be talking about Kamal Din Suleimana. He reacted to being named as the most fastest player at the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Could you imagine it? Kamal Din Suleimana did not have much of the playing time during the World Cup, okay? But he has been ranked as the most fastest player. Could you imagine a World Cup that have um, Mbappe, Cristiano Ronaldo, the most players that we, we, we always regard them to be the fastest players on this planet when it comes to you no know, athletes, okay, football, Yambo Bono. So, but hey, Kamadu Sleimana became the most fastest player at the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. And so I'll be talking about the official FIFA ranking, okay, where Ghana. Uh, so I'll be ranking and so then Koya my late BS as well. I'll be talking about this and many other stories. This is Bedu News TV. My name is Kofi Atinka. I think I want to kindly subscribe to the channel, hit notification bell, share this video to your friends, like, and also comment. Let me talk about the Black Stars ring. Like Kamal Dean Slip Mana has reacted to uh, being named as the fastest player at just ended the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. You know, the stud Renee's forward became the player with the top speed after clocking to 22.18. Yes, 22.18, you know, uh, miles per hour. Charlie, the guy, they won, you see, 22.18 uh, miles per hour. Okay, so that was the right me can go to no i can say me that's the game uh doing the game against uh Uruguay in ghana's final group stage okay now despite ghana's early exit the 21 year old ended the competition at the fastest player ahead of nico williams who had 22.12 okay and also david uh, rem have 22.00 and also anton rubinson also had 21.99 okay so this guy came close uh to him that is uh nico williams the nike williams younger brother very fantastic young talented player nico williams and also kamadi Suleimana. okay so this is what kamadi Suleimana said in an interview with Red sports he said i don't think it was the counter attack because running with the ball in it different okay so it was when i was running back you know when we were down by two then it was likely uh that like five minutes to go and there was counter against us so i had to recover back i saw the player uh, who was uh, free running towards our goal area then i have to run and come and defend so that's what he was saying the, the question was posed to him that he had this uh, run because ghana had a counter attack and he was holding the ball that even bother he had a foul and he said no it's not that alone but he saw that there was counter attack in the last five minutes so he need to run back and defend so you know concede three goals and ghana were already down by two goals to me so you run fast and come to defend that and him the most fastest player just in the fifa world cup qatar 2022 you know meanwhile the uh the ringer okay express worry about injury setbacks saying is frustrating is frustrating yeah Charlie, a bloody a play if if not injury and this guy would have been a fantastic player but come on you know black so that's the only thing worrying this fantastic young player you know come on so the manner uh is back in france to resume training ahead of the return of leg one having struggled in the first round due to injuries before the break of the league for the uh World Cup to uh go on. you know the enterprising ringer has limited game time in the 2022-2023 season due to injuries he misses renee's final game before the world cup break because of injury but he made it the black star squad for the global show piece this is what he said uh, last he said, i have been uh, getting a lot of uh, injuries and it is frustrating my priority is to stay fit and be on the pitch more time so that is what the boy is saying that he want to stay fit and have more playing time for his club and also country so that is from the player called kamadin Sulemana uh, talking about his uh record becoming the more fastest player i just ended fifa world cup qatar 2020. now let's shift attention to the black stars of ghana on the latest fifa rankings okay ghana have improved 
are slightly the latest FIFA rankings, which was released on Thursday, 21st December 2022, after the World Cup in Qatar. The Black Stars have uh, rushed three places in the world ranking to 58 from 61st. You know, before the World Cup started, Ghana was at 61st. Now we have come up three uh, steps, so 60, uh, from 61st to 58. Their, uh, their improvement can be attributed to their pre World Cup wins over Switzerland and also then beating another country called South Korea during the tournament in Qatar. Now, Blasters, who are currently without a coach following Otuado's uh, resignation after their World Cup campaign ended early, you know, Charlie, it's not easy. Uh, same also. So, Ghana uh, got 1,400 points from all the games Ghana played in Switzerland, uh, South Korea, Portugal, and also Uruguay. Okay, so Ghana uh, amount 1,400 points. Then they move to the uh, 58th position in the world. Okay, meanwhile, the uh, four time African champions, Black Stars, ranked 11th in Africa. 11th in Africa, you know, after Morocco incredible run in Qatar, they have moved in to 11th place in the world and now number one in Africa, taking over from Sega. So number one in Africa is Morocco and they are 11th the whole world. They are 11th. Okay, so Senegal used to be Africa number one. Now Morocco has kicked them out from that position and they have taken over because Morocco is able to uh, go to the quarterfinals, enter to semifinals, and become fourth in the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022, which just ended some few uh, days ago. You know, they became uh, Africans' giant and African first team to reach World Cup semi final, defeating countries like Belgium, Canada, Spain, Portugal to get to where they are. You know, Ghana will return to action next year. With a new code. No, there will be a new code definitely for the Black Stars when they take on Angola in African Cup of Nations qualifiers for 2024 edition in January 2024. No, that African Cup of Nations should have come on June, July 2023, but it because it said Africa's June, July is full of rainy season, so they have to shift the tournament to 2020. 24 you know, January and February because the World Cup was played in uh, November, December. They can't play 2023 uh, African Cup of Nations 2023 January and February. It will not be possible. Clubs will not release players because there are a lot of pack games for them to play before they be able to finish 2022-2023 late season. So, guys, this is Bidu News TV. Uh, my name is Kofi Atinka. Think I want kindly subscribe to the channel. Hit notification bell share the video to your friends like and also comment thank you for watching so sweet let's meet another time bye bye for now